Hello there, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, oh, sorry, um, that's Medusa. Yes, and a dragon. And a phoenix. And Pegasus. Yes, let's talk about myths today. So what is a myth? It is a traditional story, especially one concerning the early history of a people, or explaining some natural or social phenomenon, and typically involving supernatural beings or events. Many cultures have their own myths. These stories may be widely different, but the characteristics are similar. So the types of myths. We have creation myths and heroic myths. For the theme of creation myths is the birth of something, of, uh, for example, the planet. The setting is primordial, the beginning of time. The teachings, how we came to be, for example, the world creation. The characters are proto-humans, human ancestors. Instead, for the heroic myths, the themes are heroism and the motive of the hero's quest, hero or heroine. The hero or heroine's mother is the royal virgin, and he or she is the offspring of a god or goddess. Fights monsters, dragons, or a wild beast, for example. The hero or heroine becomes a king or a queen. He or she has a mysterious death. Yes, that's Prajapati. The elements of a myth. There is no single author. The author is unknown. The story evolves through the telling and retelling of it by many people. Mythic narratives often involve heroic characters, monsters or supernatural beings, as we said before. Myths can be narratives of a sacred nature too. What myths do? They can have a religious purpose. They offer explanation of the unknown, a human experience, for example. They attempt to answer broad and fundamental questions. They can be part of a larger mythology. What is the role of a myth? Well, myths serve to paint a portrait of the ideal human behavior and human being. What else do myths do? Ancient people enjoyed entertainment, just like we do today. They are a metaphor for life teachings. They use the oral tradition, and myths provide an experience of life itself with a purpose to teach a life lesson. Thus Beowulf. Protect yourself, pray. Myths help people find an explanation in times of need. Ancient Greeks and Romans were very religious people. That's Minotaur. Natural and social order. Another important role of myth is that of creating both natural and social order. Creation begins with chaos. Myths work to give specific order to the universe. Order is created in cosmos. Myths bring order to lesser beings, humankind and society. That's Atum. Difference among legends, folktales and myths. Myths, legends and folktales share similarities, but myths must have all the essential elements. If not, then it is a legend or a folktale. Legends is a story handed down through generations with no hard evidence backing it up. All myths are legends, but not all legends are myths. Thus Perseus. Folktales, a story that is pure fiction and is not founded on a particular person, place, or event. All myths are folktales, but not all folktales are myths. 
So now let's pause the video and answer this question. What is the difference between a creation and a heroic myth? So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you like the lesson, please hit on the like button. If you want to share this lesson with your friends, please do. Until next time, bye bye.